Okay, shalom, shalom. Kum yasha Allah, kuholoyim la. Yahweh, bahashim, Yahweh shai, bahashim, rakah hakradash. That were honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who were well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwa that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. This is Yahanan Nawaf, just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And wanted to touch on um, a quick little lesson before I go to camp on um, uh, the Apostle Tahar. He, he posed a question. And um, all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He got 144 views too. Um, he posed the question, is Paul one of the 12? And he's posing this question from um, Deacon Haka, I think it's his name, from Zakari, um, you know, like, does he still believe that Paul is one of the, the um, original 12 uh, apostles or whatever, you know what I'm saying? As far as when Judas Iscariot pretty much committed suicide, so to speak, for lack of better terms, you know, he was replaced by uh, Mattathias, I think is his name. But anyway, let's let's play this. I'm gonna play just a portion of this because his video is not that long. It's really only a minute. And this is a, a question that he actually posed to Sakari. So, and then he actually posed it to, um, you know, us as well, you know, to um, give scriptures as to why they may have thought that, or, you know, you, you'll see what I'm saying. Let's just play the video real quick. Shalom, giving all praise to you. How about Shem Yahshua? How about Shem Rukak? Shalom to the 144,000 and the rest of the elect out there. Shalom to you all. Anyway, I came across this video entitled, uh, put up by Apostle Gabar. I mean, what more proof do you need? So I clicked on this video. The first thing I noticed was the. Yeah, and I actually watched this video uh, with uh, Apostle Gabar because he was the one that posed the question. And I guess, you know, once Apostle Tahar watched the video, you know, he caught wind of it. Like, okay, all right, bet. So let's let's continue playing it. Uh, digging the car. And I noticed the uh, the title, which is Deacon the Car. Do you still believe Paul is one of the 12? I said, what? Paul, said Paul one of the 12? That's new to me. So I'm going to throw it back at y'all. Is Paul one of the 12? And if he is, prove it. And if he's not, prove that as well by scriptures. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say Shalom. Okay, so we so you got it. And basically, you know, the blue letter explains it um, pretty perfectly. So, um, you know, because I actually, I, you know, I Googled some things. You know what I'm saying? I, I like to Google some things, see what a lot of these so-called white people have to say about certain stuff as well. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of those scholars, you know, they do commentary. They don't know the scriptures. They just won't admit that you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans are the true Hebrew Israelites. And um, that those Gentiles that are being spoken of in the scriptures are Israelites that, you know, were living like Gentiles, basically, or living like Greeks or living like Romans or wherever the area where they were. You know what I'm saying? That's the reason why Paul was sent to the Gentiles. He was an Israelite being sent to other Israelites that sometimes didn't know that they were Israelites and sometimes they knew and just was living, you know, the customs of the Gentiles, you know, or heathens or living like the, the nations that they were amongst. So but let's it's like, uh, OK, well, let's. Um, so when I Googled it, you know, Blue Letter, of course, popped up. Uh, this is by Don Stewart. Was Paul the 12th apostle, right? Um, it says, was Paul the 12th apostle? It says, it is often contended that Saul of Tarsus, who became the apostle Paul, was meant to be the 12th apostle, not Metathias, whom the, whom the 11 chose. While the 11 disciples chose Metathias to be the apostle that replaced Judas, um, Yahushua chose Saul of Tarsus. Is this what the Bible teaches? So this is a question that he, you know, being asked, right? The case for Paul being the 12th apostle. So they basically, you have people that actually believe this, you know what I'm saying? And there's a case being made that Paul was the, the 12th apostle. So this is the first part that he gets into. Then he goes off into why, you know, there's another group of people, so to, see, so to speak, that's saying that, no, he wasn't the 12th apostle, um, 12th apostle, Salakia. Okay, so this is the case for Paul being the 12th apostle, right? Those who argue that Paul was the 12th apostle do so as follows. This is how they come to the, their conclusion, basically. 
It says um, verbatim, Jesus, but we don't use the, the name Jesus because that's not the name of our Lord. His name is Yahawashai in the Hebrew tongue because there was no letter J when the Lord walked the earth. There was no letter E, no letter O, no letter U, no letter V in the Hebrew alphabet. It's not, and it's still not today. You know, that that's another lesson. But at that particular time, he was being called by his Hebrew name, Yahawashai, and that's the true name of the son which means he's the deliverer or savior in the paleo Hebrew. And the, um, the true name of the father is Yahweh, which means that he exists or the existing one. So like you a little excited, need to slow it down just a tad. But anyway, let's get into this. It says Yahweh chose the 12 apostles, right? The Bible makes it clear that Yahweh originally chose the 12 apostles. It, it was his selection alone. He did not consult his disciples or anyone else. Therefore, the replacement of one of them would, would again be the choice of Yahweh Shai alone, since they were his unique group of men. Yahweh Shai chose Paul. Yahweh Shai did choose the 12 apostles, Saul of Tarsus. The New Testament emphasizes that Saul, who became Paul, was the direct choice of Yahweh Shai to be his apostle. After Saul's conversion, the Lord said the following about him to Ananias. Right. This is Acts um, 9 and 15. And they have the NRSV version of it. It says, but the Lord said to him, go for he is an instrument whom I have chosen to bring my name before Gentiles and kings and before the people of Israel. So this is where, you know, that, that's a clear indicator that, yes, the, the Lord did choose Paul, but he wasn't one of the original 12. So now it says, did Yahweh Shai not choose Mattathias? In contrast to Paul, Yahweh did not choose Mattathias. He was chosen by the 11 disciples after Yahweh had ascended into heaven. Since Yahweh had been on, on earth for 40 days after his resurrection and before his ascension, he could have easily designated another person to take the place of Judas, yet he did not. His choice, Saul of Tarsus, had not yet been converted. Yeah, and, and that's another thing too. Paul was, was, um, was persecuting the church. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Before the Lord even chose him, right? With him knocking him off the horse, him getting the, you know, the vision. You know, that's you know, if you know the um the the uh, you know the history on that. It says the Holy Spirit had not yet come to the disciples when they chose Matthias. The disciples were specifically told to wait in the city of Jerusalem for the power of the Holy Spirit to come upon them. We read of this in the first chapter of the book of Acts. It says, but when the Holy Spirit now this the NLT they they're using the um, New Living Translation. But when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, you will receive power and will tell people about me everywhere in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Right. So this is still what they're saying. This is the, um, you know, the people that believe that, OK, Apostle Paul, he was one of the 12 disciples. And this could be where how um, Sakari is thinking about it. If that's actually, you know, if he still believes that, you know, because Ap Apostle Gabar brought that up. Okay, it says these disciples were supposed to be waiting for the promise of the Holy Spirit. Instead, waiting, instead of waiting, they decided to choose a person to complete the number of apostles to twelve. The Holy Spirit had not yet arrived in his fullness, yet they went ahead and made a fool, foolish choice of replacement for Judas. Right? There is something else. The fact that they cast lots to replace Judas shows how the entire episode was not spirit led. This is in contrast to Jesus. Or Yahweh's side, personal choice of the twelve while he was here on earth, and then his selection of, of Saul of Tarsus after his ascension into heaven. So this is basically what they're saying. This is what they're they're talking about, right? To put it in a nutshell or cleft notes, they cast lots to choose um, between um, I think it was Barnabas, Salaki, if I'm, I'm wrong on that, um, and, and Matthias. And they cast a lot between the two and it landed on Mattathias. That's how he became the 12. So what they're saying is because Yahweh Shai told them to wait on the Holy Spirit, they wasn't Holy Spirit led to make that decision. But check it out, though. Right. It says Paul's prominence in the book of Acts shows he was Yahweh Shai's choice. So it's still going on somewhat. It says we find the Apostle Paul as a prominent figure in the book of Acts. In fact, he is the central figure in the last half of the book. It is obvious that Paul was God's cho choice to have a crucial role in the spreading of the gospel of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Okay, so now here's it says Matthias was never heard from again. 
So this is another thing that they're saying. Oh, Paul, he was heard throughout the scriptures, but you never heard of Matthias anymore after they cast that lot, basically. Matthias, is, in contrast to Paul, was never heard of again. After his selection to be the 12th apostle, he is never mentioned again in scripture. The evidence is thus clear. The 12 apostles were also specially chosen and commissioned by Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai chose Paul as an apostle. He did not choose Matthias. The power of the Holy Spirit had not come to the apostles when they chose Matthias to replace Judas. History makes it clear that Paul was God's choice. He was one of the two central figures in the book of Acts in early Christian history while Matthias was never heard of again. So they're still making their argument that this is the reason why Paul would be um, um, the 12th apostle, basically. Okay, so now th the case against Paul being one of the 12. Now this is where, you know, you got the opposite. Here's the opposition on it. And this is what, you know, we, we know to be true. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and I, you know, I wanted to use this because it, it, it's pretty clear. The case against Paul being one of the 12. While the argument for placing Paul as 12th disciple may seem impressive, the clear evidence from Scripture is that Matthias, not Paul, was indeed the disciple who took Judas' place. We can make the following op observation, right? So, and, and I like the fact that they said evidence from Scripture <laughs> you know, because basically the, the, the first part that I read is overall, it's an assumption, you know, because they, you know, this is somebody's thinking. And this is what happens when you get too damn smart for your own good. And that's that's a, a real big thing with Sakari and my, you know, me speaking as a man. They're too smart for their own good. You know what I'm saying? They, they you know, they, they, they try and take things too too far or to make it seem as if they're so collegiate so to speak <laughs> i shouldn't have even use that word but it popped up <laughs> but collegiate or you know trying to just be uh, i'm more studied than you i'm smarter than you damn it because i read more books than you you get what i'm saying okay the first it says the first chapter of acts describes the apostles authoritative selection oh not authoritative because they they say that paul um has no authority really you know what i'm saying that's what uh uh the, the chief priest alazar um, is uh, you know saying as far as Paul's writings he doesn't see them as being authoritative right it says for one thing the first chapter of the book of Acts explains how Matthias took the place of Judas as the 12th apostle that's scriptural we know that that's in the scriptures contrary to what some have alleged there is nothing whatsoever in the account to suggest that the choosing of Matthias was not according to the leading of the Lord see in the first part, remember, they was talking about where well, the Holy Spirit hadn't come down yet, so they couldn't have made the decision. They just, you know, just cast a lot. They rolled some dice for it or some, you know, whatever. You know? <laughs> it says um, they asked Jehovah's side to make the choice. So here's the scripture, right? So they, they was led by the Lord. You see, it says to begin with, the apostles did not choose without the help of Jehovah's side. Instead, they asked the Lord, and the Lord answered them. The Bible explains it as follows. So let's get the scriptures. This is the new um, Ke um, King James Version that they're using. Acts chapter 1, verse 24. And they prayed and said, You, O Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which of these two you have chosen to take part in this ministry and apostleship from which Judas, by transgression, fell, that he might go to his own place. So you can clearly see that they're asking the Lord. It says, you know all the all the hearts, Yahweh. You know, basically, Yahweh Shai. Show which of these two you have chosen, right? And let me, let me go into this too, because I want to be sure. About the other choice, you know what I'm saying? Because it was two men that, that, you know, that was within that choice, right? Let me just be um, on, on point on that. Let's get a, get that. Uh, okay, yeah. Let me start at verse 22. Acts 1 and 22, it says, Beginning from the baptism of John until that same day that he was taken up from us, must one be ordained to be a witness with us of his resurrection. And they appointed two, Joseph called Barsabas, who was surnamed Justice, and Mattathias. Okay, so it was Barsabas. I said Barabbas. Barsippus, um, surname Justice, and they prayed and said, "Thou Lord, which knowest the hearts of all men, show whether of these two thou hast chosen, that he may take part of this ministry and apostleship, from which Judas by transgression fell, that he might go to his own place." And they gave forth their lots, and the lot fell upon Matthias, 
and he was numbered with the 11 apostles. So this right here is clear evidence that he's the 12th. And like I said, again, I, I thought this blue letter section, it, it done a good job as to explaining both sides of it. It says, thus, they did not decide this matter for themselves. They actually how it's tried to decide. The casting of lots was a biblical practice that was ordained by Yahweh. We should not assume that this was less than what Yahweh intended because casting lots is scriptural. And, you know, um, I remember the apostle Tahar. Um, I think, you know, back in the days, you know, with the one West school, um, you know, something that went down between them and um, Bishop Nathaniel of IUIC. Um, the apostle said, well, let's cast a lot. He said that um, Bishop Nathaniel said that that was it, that it, that was wicked to cast a lot. But casting lots is scriptural. Casting lots is in, in the, um, the Bible. Matter of fact, let's see. And I'll end out here because I'm, I'm down to the seconds of getting out of here for camp. But I did want to do this real quick. Uh, let me just put in. Let me see. It's in Proverbs. I can't think exactly where at. I think Proverbs or Ecclesiastes. Oh, yeah, I'm way too far off. Uh, Salakia. Back up, son. Proverbs 18 and 18, it says, The lot causes contentions to cease and parteth between the mighty. This is the one that I want right here, though. Um, Proverbs 16 and 33, The lot is cast in the lap, but the whole disposing thereof is of the Lord. So, it, the, 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 you know, you can cast a lot. It, say like you flip a coin. Man's going is of the Lord, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? That's what the scripture says. There's no such thing as free will. Everything is happening according to to what the Lord wants to happen. So if you flip a coin and it lands on head, the Lord wanted it to land on heads. If you flip a coin and it lands on tail, the Lord wanted it wanted it to land on tails. You see what I'm saying? And, and, and hey, that's that's it. So it was a practice that was um amongst our people at one time, but we would cast a lot in certain situations that where you know you needed a quick decision, you know, so to speak. You know, but anyway, I wanted to touch on this. I pray that the lesson was edifying. I pray that it, you know. There was some understanding that was brought forth on it. And, you know, these are hey, things that come up. These are things that come out. You know what I'm saying? You know, you you know, we all learn every day. You should be growing and learning every day, man. So with that, call me a shoulder.